Can you talk a little bit more about some of the supplements, some of the foods that you okay. use and how those, uh, those items work? Absolutely. So uh, one of the supplements that I've been using uh, for several years, however, uh, just recently actually, just uh, in uh, November of 2010 were really the, the most recent publications. Um, the supplement I use is a very specific type of omega-3 uh, fatty acid. I use very specific types. Um, we've thought that DHA, doxahexaenoic acid, uh, is uh, probably the best. Um, there still is more research to be done. Um, in two studies that were uh, published in, uh, in, two, in November of 2010, uh, one, for example, in the Journal of the uh, Alzheimer's Association, uh, we were able to show that uh, using a specific dose of a specific type of omega-3 fatty acid uh, was actually able to potentially attenuate the progression of someone with mild cognitive impairment or mild memory trouble, uh, age-associated memory loss uh, is the term that was used. Uh, those patients would potentially progress slower to Alzheimer's disease using this very specific um, uh, supplement or nutraceutical. And I have uh, a very specific plan uh, that I go about um, that's you know quite comprehensive. The other uh, supplement that I use uh, is a turmeric or curcumin. Again, I also recommend very specific types and specific brands. And this is based um, on uh, scientific evidence uh, in terms of epidemiology. When you study groups of individuals, um, specific individuals who eat specific types of food uh, that have a high amount of curry in them have a much lower risk of Alzheimer's disease.